Right, now today I want to talk about the Austin 7 three-speed gearbox. Now the three-speed gearbox is a very good little box because um, it works extremely well, but there are a number of design faults in the three-speed box like the rest of the Austin 7. Um, but first of all, I just want to just briefly talk about oil into the gearbox, from the gearbox into the into the clutch. Now, people always seem to think that the oil getting into the clutch comes from the back engine bearing. This is absolute rubbish because the flywheel is the biggest, fl biggest uh, oil thrower in the world and there's no way that oil can get from the back main bearing into the clutch. If you have oil in your clutch, it must come from the gearbox. And this is particularly prevalent with a four-speed box, but with a three-speed box, it's got an oil seal, like a felt seal in the front. And I never, I've never known anybody to have any problem with that. This gearbox has been overfilled with oil. Anyway, the other design fault that we have to deal with concerns the, the design of the gears and the way they attach to the shaft. Now, this is, a, this is the bottom lay shaft, and there's two gears that are joined together with one single keyway at the front here, and the, and the constant mesh gear goes here, and the second gear dog goes here, and they're connected by this keyway, and the drive goes from the, from the input shaft here to the down through the key and up into the second gear dog. And the problem is that it's all driven by this key. And what happens is you let the clutch in a few times and you do it a bit jerky and it breaks the key. And from then on, these two gears tend to work and they, and they fret and they wear a groove in this shaft. This is a new shaft, so it doesn't have a groove, but it wears a groove in the shaft and then the, the gears run out of line. Now, so what you have to do is you take the two gears and you assemble them on the shaft here with the two key, with the two keyways, with a single keyway, I should say. And then you, you you grind a groove all the way around the edge of the gear on both gears, put them together, and then you weld them together as a cluster. So you've got a cluster of gears, and then the drive from the constant mesh gear through to the second gear dog is through the weld. So you know, so that the keyway then just drives the shaft. And this solves all the problems of the three-speed gearbox, or well, most of them anyway. So that's how it's done. And I've got diagrams here to show you pictures of it because I can't look inside a gearbox now. But that's how it works. So that is the way in which you solve the problems with a three-speed Austin 7 gearbox.